I walk in the room and I see Jasmine and surprisingly, she's very calm. I mean, right here, Sartoria should come from here all the way to there. That's gonna be our challenge today is to get that out. As I'm looking at this, what's racing through my brain here is like, that is a long handle and that's buried in her leg. If I pull that out and it's ruptured a, a major vein or a major artery, Am I just gonna see a spurt of blood coming out and she starts to hemorrhage? Right under that sartorius is where the SFA lies. If this goes medially to where it's in, I can hit the SFA vessel. It does go laterally, we got an x-ray, and yeah. it shows it's pretty superficial. They're trying to figure out if I need to go to surgery. They're trying to figure out if they can just pull it straight out. They're trying to figure out all these things because looking at it, it just looks bad. I was like, well, can y'all put me to sleep? He's like, no, it's a possibility you could bleed out. And that's not what you want to hear at 15. Once there's a foreign body that's impaled the skin, the body's going to react to that. Those foreign bodies bring along with them bacteria that can actually cause serious infections and bacteria that gets into the bloodstream and causes shock. <laughs> Jasmine's hurting. I've got my child life specialists who are helping out, trying to distract her. I'm used to managing pain, but to hear Jasmine crying and frightened just kind of tears me up inside. Uh, Part of the brake handle had actually clamped onto the skin. They were pulling my skin along with the brake. Uh, uh, and that's when I started screaming. It just caught on the skin. Uh, okay. Uh, I feel everything. I'm gonna do some lidocaine uh, okay, the skin. It's become obvious we have to deal with the pain. We had to provide additional anesthesia. Because of my concerns about the potential damage that this may have caused, I consult my colleagues to have them come and assist with the removal of this foreign body in the event of some obvious complication as we pull it out. Once we removed the brake handle and opened that up, it came out very easily. And then I just had like this huge hole in my leg. Like it was big. That didn't go in the vessels. Yeah, she is lucky. Thank you. Yeah. Good job. Just gonna wash it up. Yeah, so we irrigate that. My goal is do minimal damage and let her heal quickly. I was like just beyond happy, beyond grateful for them. I say it took probably about like six months for me to finally like heal all together. And then now I just got an indention on my leg that everybody asked if I got shot because it looked like a bullet mark in my leg. So yeah, now I have not rode a bike since. I will not touch a bike, will not look at a bike, no.